Peace, love, the bottle of hair geese, y'all. Shy to Gemini. We're turning once again for another video. Um, okay, so I've been thinking lately, I don't want to be those type of people that just did spiritual shit all the time. I did kind of want to switch it up. And I do really want to, I'm not afraid for, you know, everybody to get to know me for who I really am. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that's been on my mind for a while, okay? Um... I really like lately have been questioning my sexuality okay I really want to keep it real with y'all um, I really just want to show 100% me no filter you know what I'm saying no moderation on my personality and who I am um, so this is something that I wanted to just make a video about like for a while I just decided to make a video on it okay um, so women um, I've always been attracted to women probably since I was 15. Um, I knew I had some type of attraction to women, uh, maybe a sexual attraction to women since I was 15, but never did anything about it. You know, I was raised, of course, like probably 70, 80% of the world in a Christian background. And of course, you know, those things are frowned upon on. All right, cool, whatever. And, um, yeah, I just, it just really spurred out of nowhere. Like, I'm, just, like, trying to figure it out, like, where did it come from? Uh, I wasn't, you know, it's a misconception that people were molested. I wasn't molested, you know, none of that deep, dark, sinister shit that can possibly, you know, make me have that attraction towards women. I just always found women beautiful, you know? I just always... You know, me being a woman, me actually be comfortable being a woman, and I just like my body. I like my, you know, my lady parts. And, you know, I guess that kind of reflects on the outside. You know, you, you, what's on the inside reflects on the outside. And, you know, I just always knew I would like women since I was, like, 15, like, sophomore high school. But I never really acted on it. Um, I classify myself as curious. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when we... 15 16 going through pu like going through puberty we're discovering who we are really on a surface level okay and that's just always something that's been on my subconscious mind but it was just like it's i'm really i guess i'm really expressing this just trying to talk myself through it to help me understand and possibly to help y'all understand so y'all can help my me out too you know what i'm saying i am a teacher and i am knowledgeable about a lot but a teacher is also a student okay and you know, every few months or so, I'm always learning something new about myself, okay? I've always been a transformative type person. I'm a Plutonian. Pluto is a very prominent planet that resides in my chart. Um, so, yeah, always been attracted to women since 16. Never really acted on it. Um, just had maybe, like, small girl crushes, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, if they were celebrities, um, I would just admire them from a distance. Never really did anything on it. Um, or whatever. Um, it wasn't until probably, how old am I now? I might be 23. My birthday coming up, by the way, y'all, uh, on the 24th of May. So I'm excited about that. Ooh. Um, so it probably wasn't until about maybe when I was like 20 years old that I actually had my first encounter with a woman. Um. I liked it. I really did. Um, and you know, it's funny. I'm really be honest. Like, what helped me kind of get through that or kind of just perform sexually um, with a woman was uh, me watching a lot of lesbian porn. Yeah, it was just, I always found lesbian porn very, uh, very interesting, you know? So uh, I kind of had that in the back of my subconscious mind of what to do. And when it actually came down to the nitty gritty, I knew what to do. You know what I'm saying? I knew what to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, uh, I think the summer of 2016, um, I did some experimenting uh, with women. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, 100%. Um, 2016 was like my, I'm going to talk and make a video about that too. It was like my, I called it my Jezebel year. Um, I was very, I was vibrating, vibrating very low. Um, I had no type of consciousness. This is when I first came into consciousness, but the summer prior to me coming into consciousness, I was straight in my root chakra, you know what I'm saying? And during that time, I did have a lot of fun, you know, nothing I, I regret. 
Um, but it was a lot of experimentation and I experimented with a uh, couple women as well as uh, threesomes. Okay. And um, I, I liked it. I really did like it. Um, so that's kind of always been in the back of my subconscious, just attraction for women. Like, you know, if I see a beautiful girl, you know, I might compliment her, but I'm not like coming on too like strong. I'm not coming on too abrasive or aggressive or, you know, trying to spit game at another girl. First of all, I wouldn't even know how to do that. Um, secondly, um, it's another thing that's kind of hindering me from kind of defining what I am. Even though people tell me not to define what it is, it just is what it is. I just feel like I have to, I have to classify it as something. I don't know. Maybe it's like I have Earth in my chart. Like I got like a Venus and Taurus, so I have to have some type of, you know, something that solidifies my identity because my son is in my second house. Okay. Um, I don't think I could be with a woman by myself. I think I will be in a with a in a relationship with a woman if a man was involved. Okay? Only because um and I am pro polygamy. Let me state that. Okay? I'm pro polygamy all the way. That's what my ancestors did. I'm a Gemini. I get bored very fast. Um conventional relationships, the white picket fence. I don't think that's for me 100%. Okay? So, I think this is kind of where it ties in that. Um, without a man, I don't think I could be involved with a woman by myself. Only because, like, if I was to date a woman by myself, um, I just worried about uh, just basic things that women need that's kind of in nature. That's kind of like a, a little primitive base. When I go out into the world and where we're out, you know what I'm saying, I like that protection of a male because what if somebody run up? And you know what I'm saying, and I'm with another or with my girlfriend, and we're both defenseless. You know what I'm saying? It's just that security of having a man in my presence, that protector, that strong alpha male. Because I'm an alpha woman, so that's just having that strong alpha male presence is very, um, it's very important to me. And I just can't. It's just like the security and the stability and the protection that a man has, a woman can't provide for me alone. Now, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in a polygamous relationship and there is a man involved, I will feel comfortable because, you know, I know that men or those men, you know what I'm saying, would be uh, protecting me and looking over me. You know, it's just that, that basic comfortability of having a man around. So it's like, I don't think I could be... Listen, I don't think I can be in a relationship with a woman by myself. Uh, I do feel like I need balance. I need a balance of that yin and that yang energy, that male and that female energy um, in regards to a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do. I love men. You know, men are always my first choice um, when I go out and when I do dress up. Um, I don't do it all the time for men, but, you know, the intention is to, um, I, and I tend to attract men a lot. You know, the intention, the intention is to attract men towards me. Um, occasionally, not a lot, but I do attract women, but attract women, but I don't really, I don't entertain it too much. Um, so yeah, I'm really just trying to, um, just figure that out within myself I and it's just like my craving for women or girls come out like during the spring or summertime uh, which makes sense because um, when studying the occult um, that's when uh, that's when you know fall and winter represents like like death of mother nature and then spring and summer represents the rebirth of mother nature so you got that divine that that divine energy and the earth's kundalini just raising and you got all that feminine energy coming through from from that rebirth and from that creation coming through and this is why men too uh, this is why really period a lot of people you know craves a lot of sex and a lot of sensualities because during the springtime and summertime that's when that energy is more prominent because the the earth especially on the western hemisphere i can't speak on the eastern hemisphere because i stay on the western hemisphere of the world but that's when that energy is uh, really more prominent that divine energy from mother earth mama earth she really comes through and i really think that has a lot to do with it um so yeah so i don't want to be like a, a part-time well no i don't give a fuck like i don't give a fuck about being on no part-time but well, 
I don't know. I I really don't want to put a label on it, but I like I I do like women. But would I be in a relationship with a woman by myself? Probably not. Unless there was a man involved. So, but it's for a fact that I am attracted to women. I do like women. And I think this is really the first time me coming out and really kind of saying that directly. You know, sometimes on Twitter, I like may make a hint or say something that may reference or insinuate that I am. But, you know, I'm, I'm really to a point now where I'm just really being authentic with myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really discovering who I am, both the light side and my shadow side. I love my shadow side. I think I'm going to talk about the shadow side. Uh, maybe in the next video or like another video for a later time. But, yeah, that's really, uh, that's really my truth. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's something I'm still figuring out. Like I said, this is more like a vlog. You know, this is more like a something that I'm, like a documentary, something that I'm documenting, okay? Um, if anybody got, like, anything input to say, if you're a lady who also likes ladies, let me know um, if you, when did you find out that you like ladies? Or if you're a man who's also pro-polygamy, you know, let me know what you think about this. But, um... I really, that's just really what's on my heart right now. Like, it's very weird. I'm still figuring it out. But, you know, I am the universe. The universe is me. And the number one law is, you know, the universe is always expanding. There's always something new to learn about the universe. And that's always something new to learn about myself as well. Like, I don't want to suppress. I'm not I'm not a, the type of person to suppress a lot of things within myself. I have to let them out. You know, I have to bring them to the surface to analyze them. So, um, so with the questions I just referred, just, you know, if anybody's out there can go through the same experience or going through something similar, let me know, comment. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm also still doing natal chart readings for, I had no openings for the rest of this month. However, for the month of June, I do have opening openings. Uh, so feel free to email me. Um, uh, I will leave all my social media below in the description box and, um, with that being said, uh, I love y'all. Bye.